smile. Have a cop. Tim Sutton for the people. <laughs> 15 hours. Exactly. So, for 35. Yes. No, you yes. couldn't. That's all. Go here. Cross hands the tail. What is it? Hey. All right. Listen, you got the choice of the corner. Take any corner. What there he is, Charles Sonny Liston. Blue robe. He'll be wearing blue trunks. I talked about him earlier in the show. The baleful stare, the scary training camp, the medicine ball into the belly, and all the rest. He had a left that looked so long it could have been a lamppost and it seemed just as hard and the right was thunderous. And the whole image changed, curiously, in Miami Beach on a February night in 1964 when he sat on a stool. It was reversed, apparently, forever. In May of 1965 in Lewiston, Maine, when felled in the first round by an apparently invisible punch. Now that's the opponent tonight, or this afternoon, as you will. Leotis Martin of Philadelphia. Martin has had 35 fights. He has won 30 of them. He is not a bad fighter. He has lost some important ones. The most important one being in Houston in August of 67. First round WBA elimination tournament. Fight stopped in the ninth round. Ellis had cut him inside the mouth in the early going. It impeded his breathing. They had to stop the fight. And he should be a good trial horse in determining how much Liston has left. There you see some of the figures. Actually, Liston weighed in today at 219. Martin did weigh in at 199. I came out here, quite frankly, expecting to find an old man in Liston, but he is in the best condition I have seen him in since I watched him train at the White Cliffs of Plymouth for the hernia fight. That's what we came to call it in boxing. The fight between him and Ali that never took place in right, Boston gentlemen, because Ali was struck down by... A hernia and had to be operated on, you'll remember. The Lewiston fight came after that. Jackie Fields. Ring announcer, G.L. Bitto, has just announced Jackie Fields. He is undefeated, 21 fights, 21 knockouts from Fresno, California. The sensational heavyweight knockout artist, Max Foster, who challenges the winner of tonight's fight. This young man is supposed to be a real good one. Max Foster. With us also Doyle Baird, the number four ranking middleweight contender who will meet Emil Griffith in January. He held Nino Benavaduti to a draw. Doyle Baird. Exactly so. Baird is the man who fought Benvenuti to a draw. I'd like you to meet the number one ranked welterweight contender in the world who will meet Jose Napoli for the title February 14th, Indian Red Lopez. And we would like you to meet Las Vegas' own junior middleweight champion, Freddie Little. <laughs> Freddie Little, who had some troubles of his own overseas and about. The memories of which were still there when I was in Rome two weeks ago. We're getting ready for the start of this bout, so quickly, let's review the scoring. Five-point must system per round, mandatory eight count, three knockdowns in a round, is not in this fight. That rule waived. They're behaving as if it's a championship fight. And indeed, there's a newly created this North American event, Boxing Federation that says this is for the North American title, whatever that the referee means. referee, Mike Kaplan. Introducing from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing 199 pounds, the number three ranked heavyweight in the world, Leotis Martin. Martin. Martin's number three rated by the and WBA. And from Las Vegas, weighing 219 and a half pounds, the former heavyweight champion of the world, Charles Sonny Liston. Mike Kaplan, as you heard the referee. Three judges will score this fight. The judges are Art Lurie, Mike Petrovich, and Ralph Moser. Now, do not come out until I tell you to come out. Is that understood? Otherwise, I'll stop the count. Is that understood to both of you? You're looking at the referee, Protect Mike yourself Kaplan. at all times. Remember that now. Good luck to both of you. Fifty-two fights listings had 149-38 by knockout. Nick, Nick Sadler, the key man in Liston's corner. The bell, round one underway. 
Sonny is wearing white, not blue trunks. He has changed since the white. These two men sparred together for many years. Martin was once a sparring partner of Liston's, as Ellis was of Muhammad Ali's. They know each other's styles very well. The task for Martin is to stay away. Ali showed that by circling steadily and swiftly to the left, thus nullifying the Liston left hook. All right, step out. What do you do? Tied up. <laughs> We're a minute in round one. Sonny Liston in the white trunks, Leotis Martin in the green. Small ring may have an effect on this bout. 17 feet, 5 inches. Liston can stalk, as is his style. Martin must stay away and must get his in from semi-distance or full distance. A warning there for a low blow against Leotis. Right hand lead by Martin caught Liston on the ear. All right, let's move out. Let's move out. Come on, watch your head now. Watch your head and move out. Sonny is obviously the aggressor in this round. We have 30 seconds left in round one. Sonny Liston against Leotis Martin, Las Vegas, Nevada. Schedule 12 round. Fifteen seconds left. We're back for round two. Sonny Liston against Leotis Martin. First round, Liston was the aggressor, but then that's the way Martin's going to have to fight. He's going to have to stay away and get his jabs in and his hooks. We had to leave you for a commercial oh, just before oh, the last on, bell. Get up, get up. There was a second caution by referee Mike Kaplan to Leotis Martin, his second in the round. First one was for a low blow. So for that matter was the second. Also for holding. Liston against Leotis Martin coming to you live and in color on ABC's Wide World of Sports, direct from the International Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. ABC Sports began the day, we think, magnificently because of the magnificence of the Texas-Arkansas game, the whole event enhanced by the presence of the President of the United States. The Longhorns now rated number one in the nation. Thus far, the action in this fight has hardly been stirring. Sonny keeps stalking, looking for the opening. Martin knows Sonny's style like a book. 
he's going to be careful, hoping that Liston will tire and that he'll be able to take charge later on. Just a couple of weeks ago, Martin fought Roger Russell in Philadelphia, won a hard-earned decision. Had a borderline knockdown, he insisted it wasn't. Martin did in the first round. He went down. Martin in green, sunny and white. Martin got out of what might have been a trap form against those ropes. 15 seconds left and this the second round. The bell for the end of round two. Follows Sonny Liston to his corner. Charles Sonny Liston. Sammy Davis is yelling, I'm late, Sonny. Let's end it now. The bell for round four. Left cut in quickly. Thus far, strictly a left jab contest. I'm chuckling because of Jackie Leonard behind me. Ah. We're almost a minute into round four. So far, although Sonny has an apparent edge in the scoring, he has not been able to level Leotis. Note that Leotis keeps moving to his left. Exactly what Muhammad Ali did. Of course, Martin lacks the physical skills that Ali enjoyed. We have a minute and a half left in round four. The oldest Martin in the green trunk, Sonny Liston in the white. It's not meant critically. Believe me, it's not. One has to wonder what the Liston of 1962, September, who demolished Floyd Patterson in the first round, would have done. But then Patterson came into him. Martin has been smart enough to stay away. Minute left in this round. Sometimes he fights him from half distance, Martin does, and sometimes from full. Oh, there it was. It was overdue. The left hook got in there, squarely, just off the side of the chin, and down went Leotis. First knockdown of the fight. It occurred with more than two minutes gone in the fourth round, and now Sonny can sense it. He wants it, and he wants it fast. He's got 30 seconds left in this round, and he's got Martin hurt and wobbly. The leg's slightly rubbery, and he's got him against the rope. Just 10 seconds left in the round. Sonny will not do it in this round. Liston variety. There it is again. We're going to show it to you right now. Watch this. Keep watching that left hook will be coming. The first left hook of the fight. 
down he went. Ken back live at ringside, Las Vegas, Nevada. ABC's Wide World of Sports, bringing you in color, Sonny Liston against Leotis Martin. This is the start of the eighth round. Sonny, of course, in the white trunks, Leotis in the green. Sonny, by my scoring and all other official scores at ringside, completely dominating the action. On his way, apparently, to winning a decision, but desperately, he wants a knockout. He wants a convincing win to establish that he is truly on the comeback trail. He did floor Martin in the fourth round with a left hook, but couldn't put him away. Sonny's left is totally dominating the action. Or at least has been up till now. Martin is not dancing as steadily as he was in the earlier rounds. You'll notice that. He's standing more flat-footedly. But then Liston isn't stalking as effectively as he did in the early rounds. So fatigue or stamina, as you will, becomes a factor. in the corner but he's not doing much with him trying to measure him then you saw that and level him but couldn't do it we have about 50 seconds as you see of fatigue. Sudden turnabout in this fight. There's Sonny. Quickly they go to work on that nose. Liston, they work on his nose over in his corner. That happened with startling sudden. Martin came in with a left and caught him and followed with a right. will try to go to work on it immediately. Blood is coming down again. That's not an easy cut for Sonny to cope with because that blood goes into the mouth. It impedes the breathing. And of course, it's a brutal and ugly sight. Sonny fighting back, virtually snorting blood. Using the left to keep Martin away, that long, long left. Martin playing it really, for a tired fighter, quite cool. Fighting from the distance. Looking for the spot, not wanting to expose himself. There, the right by Martin. Oh, Liston is knocked down with the right and then the left, and he is knocked out. This fight will be over, and with it, Charles Sonny Liston's career. going 
up into the ring. They have not yet revived Sonny Liston. You look at him there now. I will stay at ringside momentarily. I, you see Liston, and they are struggling to revive him. You see Liston as they struggle to revive him. A compelling, crushing knockout will return live. No. All right. No commercial now. We'll keep talking. I'm going into that ring. Now, I must tell you very directly and very honestly, Leotis Martin is not a talker, but the young man deserves to express his emotions in the wake of a victory like this one. Up we go. Of the ninth round, Leotis Martin. As I stand in the ring with Leotis Martin, waiting to talk with him, come on over if you will, Leotis. Congratulations to you on a crushing, compelling knockout victory. We're on camera now, Leotis. Look into that camera. And incidentally, I want the folks to know that they are still trying to revive Sonny Liston. Simply a crushing knockout, Leotis, when it appeared he was going to win the fight. Well, I thought I was boxing. Hey, first I want to say hello to my wife and my kids, Leo, Junior, and Juliana, my sister and brother. Thanks for being with me. Right. And, and another friend of mine, Les Schaefer, who's in camp, wanted to be him to come make it. All right, you've said hello to everybody. You were getting beaten. You realize that for the first six or seven rounds. He was out pointing. Well, well, I think it was even. You're managing. Uh, Thinky says even. Even, even fight. Even fight, Thinky. Say Anglican. But, what? Charles, Sonny Liston has just gotten up. Let's let's talk to Sonny for a minute, too, Leotis. Right. Champ! Dick! <laughs> oh, here is the... What, what is the cup? The cup... The North American Boxing Federation presenting a cup to Leotis for his victory. Well, all right. Thank you very much. And again, Leotis, congratulations to you. If you'll forgive me, what, what are your plans now? Whom do you want to fight? I would like to fight Frazier. Uh, this is my ambition to fight. You have always felt that you could beat Frazier. You're both Philadelphia fighters, you know. Right. And uh, that would be a natural sellout in Philadelphia, either in New York. I would like to fight Frazier next. There may be a possibility of that. Sonny, quite frankly, most scorers had you well ahead when suddenly the knockout came. Yes, it did. What, uh, what happened? Well, if I know that, maybe it wouldn't happen. In any event, Sonny, what do you feel now? Are you going to continue to fight, or are you going to pack it in? Well, it's hard to say. You haven't made a decision on it. Obviously, it's been very quick. Yeah. But the cold fact is it will be harder than ever, Sonny, to go all the way up the trail after this defeat. Yes, it would. Well, I have to think it over here. Uh, all right, Sonny. I don't think it's right to hold you any longer. Thank you very much for coming on with us, okay. and good luck to you.